Venus is an Aries, so you know it's all about that self-love. From May 2nd until May 28th, we've got Venus moving through the sign of Aries. Aries happens to be the sign of Venus's detriment. But this is a very unique spot in the zodiac for Venus to be traveling through. There's a couple of these for Venus, but this one in particular is unique because Venus in Aries finds herself between two places in the zodiac that she can call home. But Venus in Aries, it's like she's kind of going through the desert a little bit. It's not the easiest place. It's not the most natural place for Venus to feel comfortable, but there's a lot of good things it offers. But to finish that thought, we move from Venus in Pisces, which is the sign of Venus's exaltation, where Venus, the planet of love and relationship and connection, knows no bounds. Venus in Pisces, I don't know about you, but for me, it really was a time where I felt I reached a deeper level of connections with many people in my life. Some of them, we, you know, we're rekindling that, coming back to that sense of connection. And others, it was the realization that, gosh, like these are my people. So Venus in Pisces sort of helps eliminate some of those boundaries and um, you know, whether they're self-made or subconsciously created to, to bring hearts together. And so that's a really beautiful place, a very romantic and artistic place for Venus to be. I also deepened my relationship with music while Venus was in Pisces, been playing my bass a little bit more. Um, on the other side of Aries is Taurus, Venus's domicile. And that's another place where Venus feels right at home, you know, it, it, especially in the earthly corporeal sense, you know, where Venus can really settle into that um, capacity to enjoy being a human through the five senses. So sharing a meal together, you know, being in physical relationship with the world um, or other people. And it's just like a very sensual placement for Venus. So Aries is one of those sort of it's like the it's like the opposite of an oasis, right? Like it's like when you leave your comfy sort of like say you're at the beach and you're under the umbrella and you're having a good time, you're all set up over there, you got everything you need, but you want to get to the water. But in order to get to that water, you have to run quickly across that sand. And your feet are burning a little bit, but you know what? It's, it's, you got to get that heat in order to really enjoy the water, I suppose. So Venus and Aries is a lot like that where, um, yeah, like we're going to, we're going to, we're going to heat it up a for a second, <laughs> which isn't the favorite thing for Venus. Like Venus wants to be comfortable. So Venus in Aries has a lot of great things to offer us. The biggest thing is self-love. That's the biggest most important thing is Venus and Aries is here to bring us back into relationship with ourselves. That's really the highest gift of Venus and Aries is coming back to that self-love. Like Venus and Pisces, you know, maybe some people exhausted their reserves, giving, 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 opening, opening, opening. But what about how we can we do that with ourselves? Can we do that to ourselves, or maybe we need we exhaust it and we need to come back to ourselves? So it could be one of those two, where you realize that oh my gosh, like to be in this beautiful relationship with other people, I really want to make sure I I have that going on within my being, within my body, feeling comfortable in my body, um, feeling confident about pursuing the things that I love feeling confident enough to speak up about it. You know, Venus in Aries doesn't hold back from the things that we want. So while this energy is, is available to us for these 26 days, May 2nd to May 28th, Venus is moving quickly, just like us running across that sand, that hot sand, um, moving quickly through the sign of Aries. It's a journey to come back to self. It's a journey to come back to self. And um, yeah, Venus in Aries is is known to be a little spicy, but why? Because she's not afraid to put herself first. And so that's going to be some the energy that we're experiencing, um, both in the world and from within. We're going to have deeper access to that. So don't be afraid to speak up. Tell the world, tell the other people you're in conversation with what you want, what you find aesthetically pleasing, what you don't. Like, um, yeah, 
in, in Venus and Aries, there's no such thing as being too nice. Like we don't do that here. That's a Venus and Libra thing. Venus and Aries, like say it, like don't beat around the bush. Just get to the point and say, no, I, I, I don't like that outfit or I don't like that design. Let's change it. Let's change it up. Um, so yeah, be forthcoming and definitely, um, yeah, speak up about what you want to do with your time too. Like that's another one. Like how do you want to spend your Friday night? Venus and Aries, tell it, tell it like it is. And it might even just spice things up a little bit, bringing that fire energy to the way that we share space with other people. So be fearless about taking over the Spotify playlist and yeah, spice it up in your life. And that's a little bit about Venus and Aries. I'm sure we'll be talking more about her over the next few weeks, but that's a little bit for now. Bye. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today. For more astrology in your world, connect with me on all platforms at Astro Catherine. You can also visit me on my website where you can get on my mailing list and stay up to date on all the current offerings and classes that are going on. Till then, thank you so much for being here and I look forward to connecting with you. Bye.